Hello friends, Miss Amanda here from the Wilmington Public Library welcoming you to another episode of the intriguing history of color. Today is yellow. I love yellow. Yellow is so happy. You can also say yellow another way in Spanish, which is amarillo. Amarillo is our secret word. Dun dun dun! Can you guys say amarillo? Good job! Today we're going to talk about where yellow came from. How was it used in the olden days? What painters liked yellow? Which painter ate yellow? That's a weird, interesting fact. And um, we're going to talk about a very popular, popular yellow dress. So let's get in it, shall we? Yellow pigments diverted from the clay soils rich in ochre were used as early as 45,000 BCE for decorating human bodies in cave walls. The first reference to yellow in the West came from a Neolithic period. Yellow as honey or yellow as ripe wheat. Yellow was also the color of the sun and gold. For over a century, it was believed that the commonly used Indian yellow pigment was created from the urine of cattle in India that were fed only mango leaves in water. Allegedly, the dried urine was collected and formed into balls of pigment. Yellow is for happiness and hope. Oh, armorillo, I mean yellow. It's a happy, youthful color, full of hope and positivity. It's another color that grabs your attention and for that reason can also be used to signify caution, like red and orange. Yellow is the color between orange and green on the spectrum of the visible light. We associate yellow with sunshine and it represents light. It creates a feeling of hope, happiness, and wisdom. Mm. The color invokes optimistic sense of well-being and natural light. It is airy, radiant, and atmospheric. Yellow gives the feeling that all is okay in the world. Hmm. So far, armorillo, I mean yellow, is amazing. So, how was this color yellow made in ancient times, you say? The poisonous yellow pigment, arsenic and sulfoid, was prepared by grinding it naturally, occurring mineral and used in ancient Egypt, but also later in China for painting walls and in painting the illuminating manuscripts. Many cultures ascribe protective powers to the colors yellow and red. And some say the solar plexus chakra is yellow. Blue is the opposite of yellow. Yellow is the most luminous of all colors of the spectrum. It's the color that captures our attention more than any other color in the world. In the natural world, yellow is the color of sunflowers, daffodils, egg yolk, and lemons, canaries, and bees. In our contemporary, contemporary human-made world, yellow is the color of SpongeBob, <laughs> and happy faces, and post-its, and signs that alert us to danger or caution. It's the color of happiness and optimism, of enlightenment and creativity sunshine and spring. 
lurking in the background, its dark side of yellow, cowardness, betrayal, and madness. Furthermore, yellow is the color of caution and physical illness. Perhaps it's no coincidence that the source of yellow pigments are toxic metals, cadmium, lead, and chrome, and urine. The unique meaning of yellow in different cultures are, in Japan, yellow often represents courage. In China, adult movies are referred to as yellow movies. In Russia, the expression for an insane asylum used to be the yellow house. Bright marigold, yellow, may be associated with the death in some areas of Mexico. Those condemned to die during the, inquis the inquisition wore yellow as a sign of treason. A yellow armorillo, I mean yellow, patch was used to label the Jews in the Middle Ages. European Jews were forced to well wear yellow or yellow Star of David during the Nazi era of persecution. That's really sad. But they turned that into something happy. Yellow has been one of the major color trends of 2017. Emma Stone's sunshine yellow dress in Oscar-winning La La Land led yellow dresses popping up everywhere, from high street shops to red carpets. While the popularity of the color has somewhat been received in recent times, the hue itself isn't new. Alongside red, Yellow is one of the oldest colors in art history. Yellow is presented in some of the oldest paintings dating back to ancient Egypt and ancient Rome. It can even be found as far back as prehistoric times featured in cave paintings. The yellow sun has been worshiped by countless religions with numerous sun gods wearing yellow as representation of it. Because of its associations with the sunlight, armorillo, yellow, is often seen as a warm color for happiness, joyful, optimistic, all those warm sensations that you feel when you think of yellow. I think that's why people wear a lot of yellow in the summer, because summer is such a happy time. Maybe we should start wearing them in winter. <clears throat> Alternatively, in religious paintings, yellow is typically the color of Judith, is what Judas wears in Christianity symbols. It is possibly that why this negative root is the reason the color also symbolizes cowardness. Yellow is one of the most oldest pigments in existence. Cave paintings over 17,000 years old use this pigment, which was made from the natural mineral, an artificial substance for armorillo, I mean yellow, was found in the 1920s, and it is still used today, popular among artists. Van Gogh is known for using multiple vibrant colors in his art, such as blue. Due to his experimental style, he uses yellow most of all. This can be seen most famously in his sunflower painting and the yellow house in 1888. In Iris's 1890, he contrasts the blue of the flowers with a bright yellow background. Similarity in the Starry Night, 1889. He uses yellow to emphasize the stars and the moon. Wow. Have you guys ever seen that painting? It's pretty powerful. The colors are very bright.
very vibrant. Yellow is thought of as a very bright color and it is often used to emphasize certain aspects of a work of art. During Picasso's blue period, while blue was the color he primarily used, the painter incorporated yellow as a contrast and highlighted for faces and significant objects. Renoir used yellow to aid shine and definition to hair or to bring out the most important elements of paintings. Outside of the art world, yellow stands out as a color, hence why it is often used as a key color of emergency vehicles and taxis. The color gave aid significance to the Beatles song Yellow Submarine in 1966. The band had always said that it was intended as a fun children's song. However, many believe it has a hidden meaning. The Time magazines interpreted it as a symbol of the psychedelic set desire for escape. I think it was just meant for a child song, and I really do like that song. Despite being the color most associated with optimism and happiness, yellow is not a very popular color. In a 2000 survey, only 6% of respondents said that their favorite color is yellow, compared to 45% whose favorite color is blue. Nevertheless, it is still a color widely used and is still in commercial making and art and widely spread in yellow sun dresses, mainly used in summer and spring. Now, to quote Vincent van Gogh, I find comfort in contemplating the sunflowers. And this was his painting. Vincent van Gogh's favorite color was yellow. Vincent van Gogh loved the color yellow so much he used to eat yellow paint because he thought it would get the happiness inside of him. Many people thought he was mad and stupid for doing so because the paint was toxic. But I don't think so. I think if you've been around paint long enough and I think if you have a wide variety of imagination Sometimes you let your imagination get to you because he painted a lot of happy things with yellow. He painted sun and star and sunflowers. Maybe he thought that he could swallow that up. But don't eat paint at home, kids, okay? It is not good for you. Eating amarillo is not good. Eating yellow is not good. Did you catch how many times I said the secret word in this video? How did you have fun learning about yellow? There's a lot of interesting facts. Yellow dresses, what they did in China and Russia and Japan and all the artists and how they used yellow opposite of blue. Until next time, friends. I'll see ya. Bye.